Hello and welcome to this class of uh, electrical and magnetic properties of solids. So in this class we will discuss about the basics of electrostatics. So actually electrostatics is a branch uh, of physics in which we study the electric charge at rest. So electrostatics plays an important role in weak intermolecular interactions where uh, the electrostatic interaction energy between the positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electrons is a dominant contribution to the total energy of an atom. So therefore it is very much essential to include electrostatics in chemistry. So now we will see the what are the importance of electrostatics in chemistry. So when a molecule is placed in an electric field, a considerable structural information about a molecule can be obtained. When a molecule is placed in an electric field, the field distorts the electronic structure and changes the equilibrium position of the nuclei, giving rise to the separation of centers of positive and negative charges. So this is expressed by saying that the electric field induces a dipole moment in the molecule and the induced dipole moment mu induced is directly proportional to the strength of the applied electric field that means mu induced is directly proportional to E or we can write that mu induced equal to alpha into E where alpha is a proportionality constant and is known as the polar polarizability of the molecule. It is uh, the measure of the ease with which the molecule can be polarized and actually alpha is equal to the induced dipole moment generated by the unit electric field strength. Now the permanent dipole moment uh, uh, denoted by mu of a molecule having two equal charges plus q and minus q uh, separated by a distance r is given by mu equal to q into r and the displacement uh, for, uh, for a group of point charges denoted by q is given by mu equal to summation of uh, qi into ri where ri is the vector distance between the two charges. So uh, in the CGS system uh, we know Q is equal to 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 ESU that is the charge of an electron and R is equal to 10 to the power minus 8 uh, centimeter which is the uh, uh, distance between the nucleus uh, and the electron of a molecule. So therefore we can write mu equal to 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 into 10 to the power minus 8 which is which gives you 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 18 ESU uh, centimeter and equal to 4.8 dy so where 1 dy is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 8 ESU into uh, centimeter. So similarly in the SI system, system uh, we know that uh, Q is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and R equal to 10 to the power minus 10 meter. So therefore we can write mu equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb into 10 to the power minus 10 meter which is equal to 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 29 coulomb into meter and it is equal to 4.8 d by where 1 d by is equal to 3.336 into 10 to the power minus 30 coulomb into meter. So now we will see what will be the effect of uh, electric field on a uh, molecule. So we have already known that uh, when a molecule is placed in an electric field, the electric field induces a dipole moment in the molecule. Uh, that means the field uh, polarizes it. Uh, in the following three ways. So first one is the electric electronic uh, polarization, second one is atomic polarization and third one is orientation polarization. So now we will discuss all these three different types of polarizations uh, one by one. So let us first discuss what is electronic polarizations. 
so when a uh, molecule is uh, placed in an electric field the negatively charged electron and the positively charged nuclei displaces along the direction of the uh, electric field and the dipole moment uh, is uh, directly proportional to the magnitude of the field strength and is given by mu proportional to e or we can write mu uh, equal to alpha e into e where alpha e is called the uh, elect electronic uh, polarizability. So, this kind of polarization is mostly exhibited in uh, monoatomic gases. Now, the second type of uh, polarization observed in a molecule when it is placed in an electric field is the uh, atomic polarization. So, the uh, nuclei or the atom uh, in presence of an electric field are distorted towards the negative end of the field uh, and uh, the uh, dipole moment is found to be directly proportional to the field strength. This is known as atomic polarization. Thirdly, we have uh, orientation polarization. When a molecule is placed uh, in an electric field, the electric field tends to align the molecules having a permanent dipole moment along the direction of the field. And actually what happens, the electric field exerts a torque on the electric dipole moment and uh, the dipole uh, rotate uh, to align with the electric field causing uh, orientation polarizability. And uh, the dipole moment, induced dipole moment is directly proportional to the electric field strength uh, which can be written as mu uh, equal to uh, mu equal to alpha mu uh, into E where alpha mu is called the corresponding uh, orientation polarizability. Okay. So, the total polarizability of a molecule in an electric field is equal to the uh, sum of the three types of uh, polar contributions from the three types of uh, polarizability uh, we have di we have discussed so alpha equal to alpha e plus alpha a plus alpha mu and we can write alpha equal to alpha d plus alpha mu where alpha d equal to alpha uh, e plus alpha a uh, and it is called the dis distortion polarizability. Now our uh, next topic of discussion is the uh, electrostatics of dielectric media. So to understand this let us consider several molecules of a substance a in the solid uh, liquid or gaseous state are introduced into the spaces between the plates of a condenser uh, which is charged by applying a constant electric field as uh, shown in the figure. So, this substance is called dielectric and it is assumed to be an insulator. Now, the ch charges on the condenser plates are partially compensated by the induced charges on the boundary of the dielectric. The electrical field strength in the dielectric is therefore reduces to a value E from its value E naught in vacuum and the two quantities are being related by E naught equal to E plus 4 pi into P where P is called the dielectric polarization and this dielectric polarization is the induced dipole moment per unit volume of the dielectric. Therefore, we can write P equal to capital N into mu induced where capital N is the number of molecules per unit volume of the dielectric. So, now E naught equal to E plus 4 pi into P or uh, we can write uh, E naught by E equal to 1 plus 4 pi P by E which gives us epsilon R equal to 1 plus 4 pi N into mu induced uh, by E which is equal to epsilon R equal to 1 plus 4 pi N into alpha D where 
uh, epsilon r is the ratio of the electric field strength in vacuum to that in the dielectric and it is known as the relative permittivity and alpha d is the uh, distortion uh, polarizability okay so this is a very useful equation and try to uh, remember this equation we will frequently use this uh, equation in our uh, different types of calculations so this is a uh, very brief introduction about uh, the electrostatics and the uh, importance of electrostatics in uh, chemistry so uh, this is all about today uh, you uh, try to study uh, uh, from any physical chemistry book uh, about uh, this uh, electrical uh, properties uh, of atoms and uh, molecules so uh, let us stop here uh, in the next class we will discuss uh, more about the uh, polarization in a dielectric media so thank you uh, thanks to all of you uh, see you in the next class uh, stay safe and bye bye